You can't mention women's boxing without mentioning Alicia Baumgartner. Oh, and here comes the bomb. What a performance from what a boxing oh, pound for pound queen. I showed what betting on yourself looks like. I went into somebody's backyard betting on myself with opportunities that I knew if I would win, I would I would be in this position. I'm I'm the underdog story. There's always been a target on my back because people are still questioning who Alicia is. They paint a picture, you know, oh, she's a pretty girl, like, oh, whatever, can she fight, can she do this, I can do it all. The attention's on me and I'm gonna continue to show why I am the undisputed champion at 130 and why I said I was gonna do what I was gonna do a long time ago. I was going crazy. Then third round knockout, bang. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Putting my mind there and what this is gonna look like. Like I can just already picture myself in the arena as loud as hell. These people are excited. They're ready to see the best of the best. And I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've, I've just, I've worked to get here and to be undisputed, to get to revenge this this loss. Um, hard work pays off, I'm gonna say that. It's something that I'm really looking forward to a lot. It's, it's a book to me. I'm like writing this book of who Alicia is and winning this fight July 15th is, is like the close of that chapter. There's a lot of people who's also looking at this fight. Well, you know, Christina was her, her, her only loss. There's, you know, we've only saw clips of the fight on YouTube. I've never saw this fight since I fought this girl. I remember when I was in the ring that night and her hand was raised. And I'm like, damn, I got my first loss. But I'm like, but that's not, I'm not done. You know, I instantly knew, I'm like, okay, well, I got a loss, like, who cares? It was needed. It was needed for growth. And growth is important. I want people to really recognize what growth looks like. It's ugly and it hurts, but there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel and there's success there as well. It tells a story, you know. I wanted to show people that a loss wasn't a bad thing. And I got to see at that given time what it would have looked like if I would have won because I saw her career. You know, she became a, a world champion after that. And I'm like, wow, that, that could have been me. But everything comes back full circle and I'm happy everything played the way it was supposed to play because now I'm back in position as the undisputed champion fighting her in my backyard Listen, I keep thinking about how this fight is gonna play out in my head over and over, and it will be spectacular. It would be, it's gonna give me that like, <clears throat> that this is what I've been waiting for, and I'm gonna punish her. That's, that's how I feel, I wanna, I wanna punish her. I want her to know that she's in there with somebody who isn't the same fighter as I was five years ago, and I chose you. I could have chosen anyone, anybody else for my homecoming fight, but I chose you, and this is the right girl for the job. You know, she's a hungry fighter, you know, as she should be, you know, she, she's fought some great fighters. She's fought Katie. She's already pumped that she beat me before. So that's what's driving her daily. I love that for her because she has no idea. You know, in the first fight, she said, you know, she had came up to me after fight like, wow, you're the hardest fighter I ever fought. If you thought I hit hard then, just wait till you get this work now. I'm a 130 fighter, like you in there with a dog and I'm gonna punish you. To be in this era now as a woman fighter is everything I imagined when I turned pro. I'm able to say I'm part of history now and that we were able to showcase to the world what a woman athlete looks like. You know, I would love a fight with Kate Taylor, Amanda Serrano, Chantel Cameron. These fights are huge fights. We have undisputed champions in each weight class and I think it it builds for a great fight. Any, however you look at it, of course, a rematch with Mayer would be great, even at 135, to beat her in the States, to have a 
you know, a sold out crowd. I mean, I want Katie Taylor. You know, I saw her fight um, in Dublin and I saw something different and um, something to, to say that I beat the best of the best. I want all the girls, honestly. Like, it could be Katie, it could be Amanda. I'm hungry, like, this is who I am. I'm a fighter. I love a challenge and I'm, a, I'm an athlete at the end of the day. This fight is gonna show the world everything. It's, it's, it's gonna be a full package and people are seeing glimpses, every fight glimpses of who I am, what I'm able to do. My last performance, I gave myself a B. I'm like, there's an A plus out there and this July 15th is gonna be that.